Hello, and welcome back to Pleasant View. I have been uh, away for a while now. I have been ill with COVID, so <laughs> that's why I've been on a slight hiatus. But I am back now, and um, I'm feeling better. I'm in post-COVID, so hopefully I will get through this <laughs> episode. Uh, I think I will. Uh, it's basically just um, some tiredness and uh, coughing left. So yeah, I should be able to, to do this now. <laughs> So in this episode today, we will rejoin Dirk Dreamer, and he, of course, lives here in his uh, father's old house. So here is the Dreamer house, and uh, both Chloe and Dirk are still in bed, and their uh, toddler son Jacob is at the daycare center, so that's why he's not here. Um, but yeah, Chloe needs to get up for work. And uh, Dirk needs to head to his electronics store. So I'm going to get both of these guys out of bed. And they're going to take a very short moment to cuddle. <laughs> oh, I miss this Sims so much. They're so cute together. Okay, looks like uh, Chloe wants to call her brother. That's very sweet. Um, so I guess they should uh, eat breakfast. Yeah. So I think Dirk can go ahead and uh, fix that. Uh, and they also adopted a puppy last episode. So um, looks like he will age up in two days. So we will not get to see that today. So Dirk can go ahead and uh, check on the leftovers. So while Chloe freshens up in the bathroom. have some toaster pastries and I saw that Chloe wanted to eat that for some reason so <laughs> let's give her that yeah so I think that Dirk is uh, pretty annoyed right now <laughs> because he is doing his very best at his electronic store and it's not going well at all uh, he's really struggling uh, making ends meet and everywhere he goes in this town, he always hear people praising the name Malcolm Landgrab. And Dirk is really, really annoyed at that because he really, really dislikes like rich people who came from rich ancestors and who haven't really had to fight to make it uh, like he has. Uh, Dirk has really come from nothing and... Uh, he really detests uh, people just getting things for free when he's had to uh, struggle so much in his life. So I think that he's ranting a little bit to Chloe <laughs> in the morning about uh, how things look in the neighborhood. And um, he's just fed up with hearing Malcolm Landgrab's name everywhere. And of course, Malcolm's team has also reached out to Dirk to try to get his own business under their name. And that has really annoyed him a lot as well. Um, also the fact that the Landgrab Industries is basically neighbors <laughs> with his own business. People come over to his place and mentions Landgrab Industries out of the blue. And yeah, that's really rubbing Dirk the wrong way. But of course, Chloe is more of a calming personality. And she, uh, I think that she argues that, well... Langrab Industries has brought some good things to the neighborhood as well. Um, she's heard about uh, the workings with the soccer field for one thing and uh, the scholarships for children. And Dirk is sort of like rolling his eyes and <laughs> thinking of it like Malcolm flashing his uh, cash around. And uh, yeah, he's really annoyed because uh, to him it feels like people have forgotten what the land grabs are all about. Land grabs have like a long history of just taking land and uh, using small towns like this for their own gain, building up a business and then selling it off and just um, destroying the culture that was there before and just uh, seeping all of the money out of it and then leaving once they have taken the cash. And uh, Dirk is really terrified that uh, that's what's going to happen to Pleasant View as well, um, that um, Malcolm is going to put up this huge uh, mall and then have people just go there to shop uh, for a cheaper price. And then all of the other businesses uh, that are relying on customers, like his business for one thing, is going to um, 
not make it because of the competition. So that's what Dirk is really frustrated about right now. And uh, I think that Chloe wants to distract him a little bit, uh, wants to make sure that he doesn't focus too much on all of that and actually relaxes a bit. So she suggests that they have a dinner tonight, that they invite over some family to come over and just hang out. And uh, she actually suggests that they invite over um, Dirk's uh, siblings. Now, <laughs> Dirk might not be very happy about his father's new marriage into the Goth family. And uh, he's not very close with his younger siblings. And Chloe is really worried about him uh, because to Chloe, family is really, really important. Um, She's part of the Lillard family and the Lillards are really close, all of them. And they're relying on each other to help each other and support one another in difficult times. And uh, she's grown up under a, a father who was the priest in the neighborhood. And I think that her point of view is uh, definitely that family is very important. And even if Dirk doesn't feel like he needs them right now to support him, maybe they need him. And uh, yeah, he should really try to connect with that part of his family, despite what he thinks about the gods. <laughs> so I think that grudgingly Dirk agrees that, okay, fine, <laughs> we can do that if that would make you happy. Uh, but then he sort of heads out to the bathroom to freshen up a little bit. And Chloe is uh, soon going to leave for work. Yeah, so Chloe is heading out. She's going in this very gorgeous car. <laughs> yeah, she's at level five actually, so it's surprising that she still is riding in that one. And just having Dirk clean up a little bit before he leaves as well. And of course, he's going to leave the puppy alone here, but uh, it's not going to be for long technically because he's going to arrive back basically as soon as he leaves because I don't use the um, um, community time project. Right, so Dirk is just taking out the trash and then he should leave to his lot. <laughs> I think I need to put in some uh, invisible fences <laughs> here <laughs> because they're just walking through. Everything. Yeah, and that ate up a lot of their money, so I'm just gonna catch them again. Um, the one I've got is uh, a bit expensive. <laughs> I should really find one that has uh, zero simoleons. Yeah, that should uh, stop them from going through this little bit of greenery here. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's just bring Dirk to his community lot. And it's Eclectic Electronics. <laughs> okay, so we have Dirk arriving at his lot here. So let's see. Right, so this is what it looks like. We have these um, stereos for sale and record players. And also in this corner here, they're all set to average looks like. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I should be able to just open this up. And uh, we don't have any employees either. We haven't <laughs> really earned much money yet. Um, yeah, so we'll see. But we rank four anyway. And good, we have the um, wholesale perks. That's good. Oh, okay. Um, Open business. And I know that the previous time we have some had some issues with uh, jump roping <laughs> in here. But I actually got the mod um, in the meantime um, that removes the autonomy for that. So <laughs> hopefully it will be better today. Okay, this recolor has disappeared, looks like. So that's better. Looks like Dirk needs to cool off a bit. 
Right, so we have the first customers. We have Brandy Burp coming in here. So let's see what she goes for. She goes for one of the cheaper ones, looks like. So do a basic sell. We have Melissa Fancy arriving in our scrubs. <laughs> oh, okay. Brandy didn't like the basic sell. Interesting. That rarely happens to me. <laughs> All right. Let's try Melissa instead. I think sometimes the sims are in a bad mood. Uh, so that could be affecting it. But Melissa uh, actually liked it. So that's good. We have a townie here. So far, no one going for the more expensive stuff here. Ooh, okay, we have the hard sell option now. From what I remember, this one is really risky. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to avoid it for now. Um, Maybe Brandy would like to check out this one instead, since she didn't like the uh, basic sell thing. Uh, so I can go with show item to... Bra oh, we have two Brandys here now. Um, okay, but she hasn't properly entered the lot, I think. So let's try. Maybe you would like to take a look at this one instead. Yeah, she seems to look positive. So she should be moving over to that one instead. Good, we have the first cell to Linda. Can restock that. Can try to entertain to <laughs> improve her mood a little bit. Don't really know her, so. Can't be that she dislikes him personally. Oh, nice. Melissa bought something as well. And Xavier. Good. So let's see. Ring up this customer. Looks like Brandy is very close. It might have been an item that she wanted. Hopefully. <laughs> Yay! She got it! <laughs> awesome. That will help a lot. So how is your uh, cash sharing? Yeah, it's bronze, so it's pretty slow still. Okay, but he wants to get the gold sales talent badge. Can definitely lock that in. Right, so you can restock that as well. Ooh, Xavier is really on a shopping spree, it looks like. Maybe he would like to take a look at this one. Should really get on with the restocking. <laughs> But I guess I can also buy some new stuff because these slots are empty. So let's go to uh, this one. Wholesale mode. I could start out with some um, televisions and stuff. I can just remove this and... Um, this one for sure. Um, do I have a recolor of that? I do. It's just that though. Um, yeah, this one as well, I guess. And uh, yeah, this one on the wall should work. Yeah, and that's about what they can afford right now, I think. But uh, at least we have some more stuff here. So that they don't get angry that everything is out of stock. <laughs> because that can happen too. And we have some more expensive things for them to buy. And that's helpful as well. Hopefully he can get the silver badge for cashiering. Because that would speed up things a lot, I think. Okay, so you really need to restock now, Dirk. Um, so let's do that one. Okay, so it looks like Xavier is ready. He should have like three items or something, so <laughs> should be a lot of money. So 
So far, we have a negative cash flow, but that's of course because I bought some new items. But uh, hopefully we can bump that up into the positive soon. That's the thing about expanding the business as well. That, um, yeah, you have to sort of invest the money to earn the money, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so Jill is ready as well. Yeah, looks like Gordon King came in and uh, bought something symbolically here. <laughs> Trying to act normal. <laughs> it's just a harmless old man buying a cheap radio. <laughs> Right, so Dirk needs to keep on restocking. Although I think we could be fine after he's done with one of them to um, do some basic sell to these guys. Yeah, it worked well. So let's move on to Brandy. Okay, so we have uh, Alvin looking for a new TV, looks like. Oh, Brandy wasn't happy. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna buy even more stuff, Xavier. You're really splurging today. <laughs> Not that Dark is complaining, I bet he's super happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, he needs to use the bathroom though, so let's just do that quickly. Okay, um, why don't you show this item to Xavier? Then you need to restock again. Looks like Ira and Jill are having a good time together here. <laughs> well, Brand is really indecisive, it looks like, about what to purchase. But he's hovering around the more expensive stuff here. Okay, so Alvin has um, decided. Very good. So, I think that... Oh, nice. That was a <laughs> lot of money from Alvin. I think that we can go ahead and close the business. And I can actually now invest in a staff room for Dirk because he's really hungry. So I think he needs to sit down and eat something quickly. Uh, so let's just get him something really cheap here. I think he's able to have... Um, uh, quick meals in that, right? Yeah, we can. Good. So that's good enough. Um, and also somewhere to sit down then. Yeah, that should work. Then you can uh, close the business. Um, be cashier. If there's anyone else who needs to pay. And then he can have some uh, something to eat and finally restock. No. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? I should have locked this. Uh, allow household and employees only. And excuse me. I can't ask him to leave either. That's so strange. Um, does he need to, like, stop what he's doing or something? Yeah, because now he's leaving, okay. <laughs> I guess resume cooking then. He just decided what you should eat. <laughs> Looks like it might be some sort of canapé. Xavier was like, no, you've been working hard, Dirk. You deserve something better than a TV dinner. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, looks delicious. I've got to say. Right, so Dirk is sitting down in his little cramped staff room. So, yeah, so far uh, we're um, right in the middle here because we've had some expenses as well. But yeah, that's just how it goes, I guess. So we'll have to see how... Uh, how much minus we have after restocking as well. Okay, you can actually have another one. Didn't fill up your hunger enough. Okay, 
Oh, I think I have some trees here that aren't seasonal. So I need to change those. Yeah, and those um, that aren't seasonal, they don't cost anything. So now we're down again, so I'm <laughs> gonna cash in him again. Just to be somewhat on point. Yeah, because now we can see that they have the proper colored leaves. <laughs> That's good. Great, and then you also... Oh, you can't keep leftovers, I guess. Just clean that up then. And then when you're done with that, you can go ahead and restock. So once Dirk is done with his restocking, I was actually thinking that he should head out to um, the health center and meet up with Orlando. Um, in the previous round, he um, was attempting to befriend Orlando and uh, they got like basic friendship, I think. Um, but now they're down a little bit again. Um, so I think they should hang out a bit. Yeah, we're really down, but that... Um, that makes sense. Also, the caching isn't counted in this. Um, so it also counted the trees. <laughs> well, that was everything, I think. Good. Um, so, yeah, he's feeling okay to head out to the health center, I think. So try to another lot. And we'll have to call over Orlando at that lot. So Dirk is arriving at the health center and uh, I mean, really it was just across the street. So I guess he just moved the car. And uh, the first thing that he will do is that he will try to call over Orlando. And see if he wants to group up and uh, work out a bit. Yeah, there he is. Invite over. <laughs> he wants to invite over his brother. Um, I think no. Okay, good. Let's not overdo it. Let's just have our land over. Um, Dirk doesn't really know Oliver either, so I think it would be a bit weird. So let's just wait for Orlando. We have Daniel Pleasant over here. Okay, so Orlando appeared over there. So let's um, walk up to him. It looks like he just came from work. I guess he's wearing his um, stunning work outfit. <laughs> Okay, so let's just have them have a um, an outing. Oh, there it is. Good. <clears throat> so let's see if I can um, have them chat a bit and hopefully improve their relationship. And we'll have to see how things go this time because <laughs> the previous time that they tried to make friends, they had uh, so few interests in common that they just disagreed about everything. <laughs> so let's see how they do this time. He looks like uh, Orlando doesn't like politics, so <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, crack a joke then. Yeah, that's good. He liked that. So I'm going to make uh, Orlando selectable and uh, I'm going to have both of them head upstairs to work out a bit in the gym. Don't know if that will be much fun, but let's see how they do. Maybe actually it's more fun to run on the treadmills. So maybe we should do that instead. <laughs> Orlando had already given up. <laughs> wanted to head into the hot tub. Maybe we can do that afterwards. Okay, so we have uh, LaShawn Cameron, Daniel Pleasant and Russ Bear up here. <laughs> I think this is a little bit fun for them at least. It looks like this meter is going down. So I don't think they can do this for very long. Yeah, they're building a fun very slowly. <laughs> looks like Orlando is in better shape than Dirk is. Yeah, I think that's enough. So um, why don't the two of you head down here and jump in the hot tub? That should be a lot more fun for them. 
We're almost down to so-so, so... <laughs> Hopefully they can build more fun and uh, friendship in the hot tub. Looked like they were starting to talk a bit about uh, the mechanical skill or, well, tinkering, I guess. And I know that that is Dirk's hobby. Um, but I think it might also be Orlando's. Yeah, they had the same hobby. So that should be something that they can uh, bond over, potentially. <laughs> yeah, looks like things are looking up. They're having fun. How is their friendship doing? Well... From Dirk's side, it's looking pretty bright, but <laughs> Orlando has uh, some ways to go. Oh, good, they made friends. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. It looks like uh, Dirk has also built up his social and fun here, so that's great. Yeah, I think that's a pretty successful um, outing, really. It's a super level. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to make Orlando unselectable again, and then uh, end the casual group. Perfect. And then uh, Dirk can just take a shower before he heads home. <laughs> wow, you know all the best people. Let's all hang out more often. Well, you were just two people, Orlando. <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, his motives were... Um, well, his needs were improved a lot, but uh, let's just have him grab a shower. Any oh, that's the women's uh, grab a shower anyway. So that he's fresh when he arrives home. Then he can just sleep the day away. <laughs> Great, so let's just head home with him. So we have Dirk returning home. And uh, of course it's still early, but uh, I don't want to use this set time cheat right now because, well, the puppy needs to age up at 11, so let's just go from here. Um, speaking of the puppy, oh, it looks like uh, he peed on the floor, but he needs a lot of social, it looks like. So let's go in here and take care of the puppy. Scold for peeing on the floor. It looks like I can't um, access the pee puddle here. So I think it might be the table here that's messing things up a bit. So let's see if I can um, move this a bit. I don't really have much money, but I think it would make sense to get rid of these chairs and actually get something that matches a bit. So let's see. Yeah. You can see that this chair is like standing in the puddle, so I think that might be why. Yeah, something like that, I think. It looks better. Yeah, and now we can access the pee puddle. Perfect. So let's just queue up some uh, social interactions with the dog as well here. No, okay, <laughs> the queue dropped. Let's try again. Yeah, I definitely think that Dirk is a dog person. <laughs> he seems to do really well with dogs. Nice. But yeah, he's uh, very tired, of course. So let's set the puppy down. And uh, Dirk can head up to the bedroom and sleep for a while. Yeah, something like that is fine, I think. So let's wake him up again. Oh, nice. Looks like the dog has decided to sleep in the dog bed. So that's uh, something that we want to encourage, of course. If these guys are going to have a big family and potentially a lot of dogs with puppies as well, since Chloe wants to breed dogs, um, it's going to be important that the dogs actually don't take up the space in the bed, so I think <laughs> at least some of them. So it's a good start with this puppy. Great, so Dirk, you can use the bathroom. Alright, so it's uh, 
nearing three o'clock, so let's bring in Jacob from the daycare center. So I'm gonna take out the SIM blender, enable summoning menu, and then teleport Jacob. Family move in Jacob. Great. Right, so he needs some social and um, he needs to eat something, I think. Looks like he wants to learn how to walk. And so far he has actually learned both how to talk and how to potty. Oh, he was actually taught by Meadow <laughs> at the daycare center. But Dirk taught him how to talk. That's nice. Uh, yeah, so let's head in here and um, snuggle a bit with your son. And they became best friends. That's awesome. <laughs> I really do think that Dirk likes children. He always looks so happy <laughs> when he's around his son. <laughs> right, so let's put Jacob in the chair. And um, actually, Dirk could also eat something. They're going to have dinner a bit later in the evening, I think. So it's fine for him to have some, some sort of late lunch. Um, yeah, so let's just serve up some sandwiches. I think that's a pretty quick meal. Yeah, the good thing about uh, serving the plate of food is that um, the sims will actually start by uh, giving a plate to the toddler if there's a toddler in a high chair like this. Uh, so I really like doing that. Great, so Dirk is done and he can put away the leftovers and clean up a bit. And I also saw that the dog bowl is empty again. Puppy is eating a lot, so that's good. Yeah, so Jacob needs to go to the potty. So uh, I'm going to have Dirk bring him up to his bedroom. And looks like uh, Chloe is arriving back from work as well. Awesome. So we've got some more money now. <laughs> it looks like she actually got some sort of uh, money achievement here. Yeah, she's earned uh, 5,000 simoleons. Awesome. Right, so let's just have her freshen up after work. Great. Um, so let's see how the puppy is doing. He's eating uh, pet food right now, so let's um, head downstairs and praise him some more. And actually, now that Chloe brought in a little bit of money, I would like to cautiously decorate this place a little bit like with cheap stuff. So maybe some curtains, uh, maybe some cheap paintings. <laughs> Let's see what I can fish up here from the front of the page. Yeah, that adds a little bit to it, I think. And do I have any cheap paintings here? I have some that are, <laughs> are free. Uh, so let's just uh, go ham with these ones. really barren here but um, I hesitate to put in more stuff until they have earned more money <laughs> maybe some plants <laughs> it wants to snap to everything that's so annoying I would like some sort of plant here, but maybe if we put in some sort of table. Nope. We're so floating, so I would need OMSPs.
I think nine is pretty much perfect, so <laughs> let's try that one. All right, so um, they have a lot less money, <laughs> but most importantly, they have a lot uh, more cozy home now. So let's save this. Yeah, so little by little, I think that this home is going to come along. <laughs> Great. Um, right, so Dirk was heading in here to work with the puppy. Okay, so Chloe is done. And um, I was actually thinking that uh, I might change her outfit because, at least for me, <laughs> she's had this outfit for a while now. Um, so let's just check what she has in her wardrobe. And uh, yeah, we had some empty leftover plates here. So let's just have Dirk get rid of those. And again, the puppy has peed on the floor. So let's scold him. Okay, so Chloe doesn't really have <laughs> anything. That really doesn't really make sense to me, seeing as she's an adult, she should have some more clothing in her wardrobe. So you don't have money now, but <laughs> with the gussy up cheat, um, she can get the, some clothes for free. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for her. Okay, so I've grabbed some things here that I think will make sense for her. Probably not with those <laughs> pants though, but yeah, some clothing here. Actually, think she had something like this before, so. Yeah, I think I'm feeling this one the most right now, so let's go with that. Okay, so Chloe has her new outfit on, and I think it suits her really well. So let's see here. Um, she wanted to teach Jacob how to walk, and he also wanted to learn how to walk, so let's just send her upstairs and help him out with that. And meanwhile, Dirk is down here with a dog, of course. So there were some more leftovers, I think, here. Okay, so it's about time to get Darren and um, Dirk's siblings over. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have this is actually like the fourth or fifth time I tried to <laughs> Record this short sequence after Chloe got new clothes. Um, because inviting Darren to this lot crashes the game for some reason. And um, I've spent hours now <laughs> trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, and it took me a while to narrow it down to inviting Darren being the, the cause. And then I tried a bunch of stuff like lot cleaning, um, using the bat box to clean wipe out cor corrupt memories and the hood checker and removing new mods that I've added. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of things. And uh, I just can't get it to work. Um, the only thing that's like remaining that I can think of is that maybe it has something to do with Darren previously being a resident of this lot and something still recognizing him as an owner of it or something for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, summon them all with the Sim Blender because that still works. Um, it doesn't like object to Darren Bean on the lot. It's just objecting to inviting him with the phone. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very strange. Um, maybe I can solve it at some point. But uh, yeah, now I've spent hours on it and I can't get it to work. So. <laughs> Let's just uh, do it this way. Yeah, I also tried to change his clothes and change his cell phone and all kinds of weird stuff, but no, it doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, I'm giving up now. Great, so they're all here. Hopefully it is uh, not going to crash again. <laughs> and Dirk can go ahead and... Um, Give his father a hug to start off. And then um, he can also 
say hi to his siblings. They really haven't interacted like anything at all. What now? Oh, maybe she's like trying to. Yeah, she's trying to walk into the bed or something with the toddler. So that was <laughs> just the normal glitch. Good. Um, yeah, and say hi also to Hector. All right, so maybe they should just sit down in the couch or something and just hang out for a bit. Um, so not sure how many seats there are in this couch, maybe three. Let's see. Oh, okay, actually it's just two seats on this sofa. <laughs> That's interesting. Not that they can afford it, but <laughs> let's see what I can do. Uh, that's like bed height, yeah. What's that? Toy box. It's also too high, I think. This one might be the correct chair. I think that's a bit too high, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's too high as well. Oh, okay. Do I have any really cheap armchairs that I can put in here? <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose. Um, these are like exactly the same as I have in the kitchen, though. Well, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really fit in, though. But everything else looks so uncomfortable. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, let's just have some more of these. These are actually armchairs and not the these ones. They're a little bit bigger, I think. So maybe it's, it's nice it ties together. I don't know if the diagonal works, so let's try it. So let's see if um, she can sit in it. Yeah, she can. Good. And then also Darren. Oh, it's going to stand in the sofa, I see. <laughs> Why don't you sit there? Yeah, good. This appears to be working. So they can uh, chat for a bit and get to know each other better. So far, they're just talking about the weather. <laughs> Very dry conversation. Um, I mean, he has made progress here, I think. Um, oh, but he started to, to play. So I think that Chloe can actually head downstairs and uh, serve up some dinner. So oh, how good is her cooking then? Two points. Yeah, they both have two points, so that's fine. Well, I suppose spaghetti is a classic, right? <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah, so it seems to be making some progress with Hector at least. And that's good. Oh, nice. Chloe got the new cooking skill. Perfect. Just gonna cancel it so she doesn't take the lost plate, and then I'm gonna call everyone to meal. And they should be heading to eat. Uh, everyone except for Chloe, apparently. But you can start by putting away the leftovers there. And then she can take the the lost remaining plate, which is apparently this one. It looks like yeah, they're starting to talk about uh, other topics than the weather, at least. So that's good. They're starting to get to know each other a bit better. Yeah, and it um, looks like Dirk is making great progress with Hector. That's nice. But of course, uh, Hekeba is still very distant. Hekeba, of course, also recently broke up with her boyfriend. So I think that she's um, a bit down and depressed and not very um, social right now. <laughs> okay, so these guys decided to... All of them head to the bathroom, it <laughs> looks like. Or at least try to. But Darren is heading into the TV again, looks like. Yeah, so Chloe is going to clean up. And I think that, um, yeah, let's just um, praise the dog for the time being. But I think that uh, Dirk would um, 
talk a bit more with Hector and try to get to know him a bit better. Right, and Chloe can, um, yeah, join these guys by the TV. Okay, good. So let's just start by chatting a bit with him. Where did the dog go? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're getting along quite well. Talking about babies for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Dirk's favorite topic, money. <laughs> Nice, so he's made great progress with his brother. So I think that he would actually bring him out to the garage uh, because Hector's hobby is actually also tinkering, if I remember correctly. Um, so this one is almost done, but I think that he would go in here and show him the car. So they can both head in there. Let me just check. Yes, tinkering is his hobby. So yeah, they're gonna go out here together. I don't know why they didn't use the door. <laughs> oh, they're going around. What on earth? That's so silly. <laughs> okay, yeah, but uh, yeah, Dirk is going to show off his car to Hector.
So Dirk has had a very important heart to heart with his father and uh, it's getting pretty late. So I think it's about time that uh, the Goths left. So Dirk is going to say goodbye to everyone. And they are going to head home. But I think that um, for sure Dirk is going to keep in close contact with Hector after what he learned and uh, possibly try to connect more with Hecuba as well. Um, and he actually ended up becoming friends with his brother as well after that conversation. But now he's pretty exhausted again, so <laughs> let's see. Um, let's, uh, oh, Hector is still selectable. So make unselectable and he's going to head out and say goodbye to Hector as well. Um, Chloe is still watching TV and Jacob is currently asleep, but he should use the potty and eat one more time. So I'm going to force error to get him out of the bed um, because I have a mod that prevents him from waking up. And then he's going to use the potty and then Chloe can bring him uh, to eat something. How about the puppy? Max, you are... Um, yeah, minding your own business with the bed looks like. Let's see here. Hector found the um, remote controlled car. <laughs> so he's playing out here. Wow, it's making really shady movements. <laughs> it's like going on a diagonal. Wheels don't work like that. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Right. Um, so I think that Dirk should use the bathroom, take a shower, and yeah, go to bed. Chloe, you can stop watching that. Turn off the TV. Can praise the dog for being in the pet bed. Great, and then she can probably place Jacob in the chair. Yeah, he's just playing right now. Wow, the football is empty again. <laughs> I think we're actually going to housebreak this puppy at this rate. It's very good. Oh, hi, Dark. Why are you coming in this way? Seems like the routing is a little bit weird because he was at the bathroom, but he must have gone around the house, come in here, and then gone up the stairs. What? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh well, do whatever you want, Dirk. <laughs> right, so Chloe is pretty tired. I think um, I can bring this down again and um, put him back in the bed. And then uh, we will call it night for Chloe as well. And actually, these guys want to grow a family, have more children. They don't really have much funds for that right now, but as we have seen, they do keep getting money from Chloe's job and I think that things are a bit stable, more stable now with Dirk's lot as well now that he has like appliances in his um, office and he also has some more expensive things to sell. I think it's actually not too bad a timing to try for a new baby for them because Jacob is also going to age up tomorrow so that will also like allow the new child to use all of the stuff that he already has so they don't have to buy anything new. Uh, they only need to buy a bed and things for him, of course, but <laughs> that's another sto story. Um, so I actually think that they would stay up and um, try for a um, baby. I think they're so cute together, these two. They're not a couple that I have had in the past. But um, yeah, now that I've tried it, I really, <laughs> really shipped them together. All right. And then as uh, Chloe and Dirk 
try for a baby. We will wrap up this episode and uh, end the day for Dirk and Chloe. So we'll have to see next time if um, he actually did end up getting pregnant or not. And what will happen with Dirk's business if he actually starts to earn some money soon and how things will turn out. And hopefully I will have less crashes and things as well. And um, hopefully I will get more recovered from the COVID as well. <laughs> so hopefully things will look, look up uh, in the coming weeks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye.